This is part 3 episode 73. Beauty. Beauty. What a beauty. As he spoke, he couldn't help but walk towards Wang Donga. Beauty, my name is Feng Ling. I'm the most outstanding young talent from the Heaven's Gate. You are, you are too beautiful. The bad breath from his mouth was even poisonous. His saliva even caused the plants and grass to fume as it landed on the ground. Wang Donga wore a cold expression on her face as she saw him walking over. Her gentleness was only for Hui Yu Hao. However, she wasn't a gentle person by nature. Scram! Wang Donga shouted. Feng Ling glared at her. What? Did you just tell me to scram? Do you know who I am? I'm the young sect leader of the Heaven's Gate. My father is the current sect leader. Wang Donga lifted her head slowly and also lifted her right arm. At this point, a huge figure blocked the view in front of her. A cold aura left Wang Dong a stunned. In the next moment, she lowered her head again and continued to brush Wei Yu Hao's hair. Feng Ling wasn't tall. He felt a shadow appearing, and Wang Dong was blocked just like that. When he lifted his head to look, he saw a cold-looking, handsome face in front of him. Scram! Ji Juechen's voice wasn't very loud, but it was very sinister. Feng Ling shuddered and felt goosebumps rising on his skin. He subconsciously retreated a few steps. Ji Juechen didn't stand down. He wielded the judgment sword and followed Feng Ling towards the rest of the Heaven's Gate disciples. Since when were Ji Juechen and Jing Ziyan afraid of anything? They loved trouble. Ji Juechen's competitiveness came to the surface as he was provoked. Initiating an attack was in line with his personality. Jing Ziyan didn't follow him. She had been greatly agitated by Hua Yu Hao earlier and hadn't recovered yet. Furthermore, she also felt something from the immense spiritual pressure that Hui Yu Hao had brought upon her. She needed some time to digest everything. Feng Ling quickly rushed back to his own territory. Everyone from Heaven's Gate naturally heard his confrontation with the Tang sect. The entire sect, including the two middle-aged men, gathered immediately. Ji Juichen lifted his sword and walked over. Bei Bei wanted to follow him, but he was stopped by Jing Ziyan. Let him have his fill. Otherwise, he'll vent it all on us. Bei Bei immediately sat down. He sighed slightly, and his eyes were filled with empathy for those from Heaven's Gate. Jing Ziyan's lips moved slightly. What kind of person are you? Bei Bei smiled and revealed his set of white teeth, I'm a good guy. Jing Ziyan looked over and shrugged her shoulders. Ever since she came to Tang Sect, she had smiled far more often. Who are you? What do you want? One of the middle-aged men shouted at Ji Juichen as he walked over. Ji Juichen was holding the judgment sword. As he moved forward, his aura was changing tremendously. It was as if he and his surrounding environment had assimilated. However, the environment didn't assimilate with him. On the contrary, he assimilated with the environment. Everything surrounding him became extremely quiet. Even the birdsong that could be heard earlier disappeared. The colorful and radiant world turned dim and gray. The two middle-aged men started to turn serious. The Heaven's Gate disciples wouldn't allow Ji Juichen to bully them, either. They quickly spread out. The two middle-aged men also unleashed their soul rings. Just like Ji Juichen, they were six-ringed soul emperors. However, the color of their soul rings was slightly different. One of them had three yellow and three purple soul rings, while the other had three yellow, two purple and one black soul ring. Evidently, it wasn't their first time teaming up with together. The soul emperor with the three yellow and three purple soul rings retreated quickly. At the same time, he lifted a soul cannon to his shoulder. The soul rings on his body flashed and his soul power undulations increased significantly. He was an orthodox soul engineer. The other middle-aged man stood in place without moving. As a clanging sound rang out, a thick suit of armor appeared on his body. The pitch black armor carried a little silver light. Evidently, it was created using some form of special metal. This armor, including a helmet, covered his body from head to toe. Not only that, but this close combat soul engineer even had a shield in his hand. At this point, everyone from the Heaven's Gate moved away in a disciplined fashion. They were extremely quick, as if they were scurrying off. The fastest to flee was Feng Ling. His fat seemed to be filled with new strength now. Ji Juichen had already returned to Hui Yu Hao's side. He turned to look at Hui Yu Hao as if he were asking him something. Hui Yu Hao smiled and replied, obliteration of darkness, instant brightness. You are really impressive. You've merged with your sword. A smile was revealed on Ji Juichen's cold face. It was a rare smile. If you could move at all, I wouldn't be able to beat you. Hoi Yu Hao chortled, that's hard to say. I'm only stronger than you in terms of my spiritual power. 
However, the sword intent formed from the combination of your spiritual and soul power is becoming more and more sturdy as you slowly grow. If this continues, you'll be stronger than me, at least in that aspect. Ji Juichen's eyes brightened. He seemed to understand something, and nodded towards Hui Yu Hao. Let me sleep a while. Hui Yu Hao was still laying on Wang Dong's lap. Okay. Ji Juichen acknowledged his words and returned to his original position. After those from the Heaven's Gate left, the Heavenly Armor sect also started to move off. Before they left, and Zhang Hu went over to speak to Bei Bei again. However, his tone of voice was rather different from before. He didn't dare to underestimate the Tang sect anymore. Those from the Tang sect also didn't stay much longer. After Hui Yu Hao woke up from his nap, they embarked on their journey again, proceeding towards Radiant City. At the same time, Wang Dong addressed like a guy again for safety precautions. As Hui Yu Hao was in a wheelchair, they were moving much slower than before. It was already sunset by the time they arrived at Radiant City. Among all of them, Hui Yu Hao, Yi Kai Tu, Wang Dong, Na Na, Ji Juichen, and Jing Ziyan had been to Radiant City before. They weren't unfamiliar with this place. However, the rest of Shrek's seven monsters were all astonished. Radiant City was the largest city on the continent. When they saw the tall buildings, they were even more shocked. Their expressions also turned more serious. It was a huge eight-story hotel. It was in the city center and was called the Ming Yu Hotel. It was entirely silvery white and could be seen from a good distance away. Every story was quite high. Even though there were only eight stories, it was still considered an extremely tall building in Radiant City. The lobby of the hotel gave off a metallic feel. Its internal decoration was identical to its external decoration, completely silvery white. Various streamlined decorations resembled exquisite sole tools and gave one the urge to touch them. The first feeling the hotel gave those entering was that it was simple, yet grand. At this moment, there were many people gathered in the lobby. When Hui Yu Hao and the others entered, they were immediately greeted by a young lady in a long silver dress. Greetings. Are all of you here for the Continental Elite Youth Soul Master Tournament? The young lady was tall and slender, and also very beautiful. Her long silver dress fit her body to a tee and extended all the way to her calves, looking quite elegant. She wore a light smile on her face and seemed very amiable. Yes? Yes? Xu Sancha was walking in front and he hurriedly acknowledged her words. The young lady smiled at him and said, I'll need all of you to wait because many teens have also just arrived. Follow me. As she spoke, she led everyone into the lobby. Before they moved off, she subconsciously glanced at Hui Yu Hao. This is weird. They are here for the tournament. Why did they bring someone in a wheelchair? Hui Yu Hao appeared to be very calm. He wasn't affected by the young lady's gaze. After everything that he had been through, he was more mature than most adults. However, he easily attracted attention as he sat in the wheelchair. As they proceeded to the bar in the lobby, many people appeared stunned when they saw him. The other members of the Tang sect subconsciously surrounded Hui Yu Hao, trying to block him from the limelight. The bar was at the east side of the hotel and covered a thousand square meters. The bar was filled with white sofas made from genuine leather. They were led to one sofa, and the young lady left after greeting them. Immediately, a waitress in a short white dress walked over and served them some snacks and drinks. The service was exceptional. After the waitress left, Xu Sancha said to Bei Bei, Little Bei, don't you find this an eye-opener? Bei Bei snapped, call me eldest senior. What eye-opener? Look at you. You are turning lecherous again. For this tournament, at least one-fifth of all the outstanding soul masters on the continent would be gathered in Radiant City. After briefly observing everyone in the lobby, Hui Yu Hao's spiritual detection started to change perspective. It was moved upwards and quickly saw through the main structure of the hotel. The Ming Yu Hotel was made using a mixture of reinforced steel and concrete. Some of the more important areas were constructed using extra high tensile steel. There were rooms of varying sizes. The higher up they went, the larger the rooms were. Hui Yu Hao estimated that there were close to 2,000 rooms in this hotel, which itself covered more than 15 hectares. There were close to 200 rooms on each story, and more than 10 corridors. It was only such a huge hotel that could accommodate the number of people attending such a large-scale tournament. All the competing team's members were staying in this hotel. Although it seemed a little packed, the hotel could accommodate everyone as long as two people shared one room. If it were any other empire, at least three to five hotels would be needed. This fact alone demonstrated how big and powerful the Sun Moon Empire was. After ten minutes, Wei Yu Hao reopened his eyes. In these ten minutes, he had used his spiritual detection to show his teammates the ranks of the soul masters registering in the lobby, the structure of the hotel, and the condition of the rooms. His spiritual detection managed to reach 500 meters in radius, with him as the center. Oh, a familiar face. Hui Yu Hao looked slightly stunned. 
everyone looked over as they were guided by Hui Yu Hao's spiritual detection. There was a group approaching them, and all of them recognized their leader. She was the Star Luo Empire's princess, her Imperial Highness Xu Jiujiu, who had given them a lot of trouble in the last tournament. They didn't recognize the others behind her. After all, those who had competed in the last tournament were more than 20 now, and had to be replaced for this tournament. Xu Jiujiu's personal visit was shocking enough. However, the bunch of youths following her were evidently top opponents too. They were selected by the Star Luo National Academy, and thus they were naturally the best of the best. The Star Luo National Academy had been one of the top four academies in the last tournament. At that point in time, the emperor of the Star Luo Empire had appraised Hui Yu Hao highly. After the tournament ended, he even sent someone to investigate Hui Yu Hao's background. He even knew that Hui Yu Hao entered the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy as an exchange student. The imperial family of the Star Luo Empire had also monitored Hui Yu Hao closely, as he developed quickly. When they realized Hui Yu Hao had entered the Sea God's Pavilion, they placed more attention on him than ever. The emperor of the Star Luo Empire, Xu Jiayin, had once told Xu Jiujiu that Hui Yu Hao was Shrek Academy's future. However, he was sitting in a wheelchair now. Was he really the one-of-a-kind talent who possessed twin martial souls, an ultimate martial soul, great fighting abilities, and almost limitless potential? Xu Jiujiu's investigations had revealed that Hui Yu Hao was from the Star Luo Empire. Although his background was unclear, it was a fact that he was from the Star Luo Empire. While Shrek Academy was huge, it was only an academy. Even if Hui Yu Hao took on an extremely important role in the academy in the future, he wouldn't be at the academy forever and would have to venture out occasionally. That would be the Star Luo Empire's chance. Over the past few years, the Sun Moon Empire's military had been very active. The Star Luo and Heavenly Soul Empires were under great pressure. This was especially true for the Star Luo Empire, the second strongest empire on the continent. If they could pull Hui Yu Hao and even Shrek Academy over to their side, the Star Luo Empire would become strong enough to challenge the Sun Moon Empire. After the last tournament ended, why did the Ice Jade Emperor Scorpion's left arm bone end up in Hui Yu Hao's hands as if it were a gift? It was bait by the Emperor of the Star Luo Empire. It was just that they didn't have a chance to interact after that. Today, Xu Jiujiu was shocked to find out that Hui Yu Hao was seated in a wheelchair. His face was pale, which revealed that he was suffering from some kind of sickness. As she had been monitoring Hui Yu Hao, she was clear on how important he was to Shrek Academy. He had ended up in such a state even though he was protected by Shrek Academy's title Dolor. What exactly had happened? Xu Jiujiu was sharp enough. She could tell that there were indeed problems with Hui Yu Hao's legs. Furthermore, his left arm also seemed very stiff. They were drooping and not in line with his body. He didn't seem to be acting. Thanks for your concern, your highness. I only ran into some problems. Hu Yu Hao answered her calmly. Hu Yu Hao was impressed by how the emperor had tried to pull him over to his side. He also had a deep impression of Xu Jiujiu. Xu Jiujiu was stunned for a moment. Her expression was then restored, and she said in shock, if all of you aren't representing the academy, then. Bei Bei smiled and replied, we are representing the Tang sect. Tang sect? Xu Jiujiu didn't have a deep memory of this ancient sect that had disappeared for years. However, the Tang sect had once been famous on the continent. That was why she quickly reacted. All of you have joined the Tang sect? Xu Jiujiu asked. After pondering for a moment, Xu Jiujiu immediately said, the history of the Tang sect goes back a long way. The first generation Tang sect leader also contributed greatly to the world of soul masters. If your sect needs the help of the empire in the future, we'll do anything to help. As she spoke, she retrieved a pure gold token and gave it to Bei Bei. If the Tang sect requires any help from the Star Luo Empire in the future, any one of you can use this token and find me at Star Luo City. I'll do my best to help, if it's within my means. The token was heavy, and was carved with hollow tulip patterns on the front. On the back, there was an image of a tiger's head. It represented the imperial family's remembrance of the White Tiger Dynasty. This token had great significance. Bei Bei immediately turned serious and said, Thank you for this gift, your highness. The Tang sect will always remember our friendship with the Star Luo Empire. I believe we'll have a chance to work together in the future. If the Tang sect's development only relied on Shrek Academy, it would mean that they were content to only exercise their influence over a certain region. However, this wasn't what Bei Bei wanted to see. He had promised Tang Yue that they would become the top sect on the continent. Right now, he was also working hard in this direction. Collaborating with the Star Luo Empire was very important to Bei Bei's plans. He didn't reject Xu Jiujiu's offer. Xu Jiujiu revealed a smile on her face as Bei Bei accepted the token. I hope that the day we work together will come soon. Princess Jiujiu smiled and said, We'll wait and see whether I'm really mocking you. If we meet in the tournament, you must show some mercy. 
Although I never thought that the Star Luo National Academy would become champions, we can't be eliminated too soon, either. I'll make a move first. After she finished her piece, she left with a bunch of youths behind her. As she slowly walked away, Wei Yu Hao appeared a little pensive. Bei Bei whispered as he asked, What did you see? Wei Yu Hao gently shook his head, I only feel that I shouldn't be troubling this famous princess, since I'm not even a competitor. It wasn't too exaggerated to use the word famous to describe Xu Jiu Jiu. In the Star Luo Empire, she was an authoritative figure that everyone knew. She was also very beautiful, and everyone in the empire loved her. Bei Bei nodded slightly and said, let's counter changes with no changes. No matter what goal she has, she won't be targeting us. Hui Yu Hao said, eldest senior, do you remember that I mentioned that the illustrious Virtue Hall was ambushed by the body sect? Bei Bei was stunned, what do you mean? She's involved? Hui Yu Hao squinted and said, I'm not sure. However, the hundred thousand year soul beast embryo was auctioned off at the Star Luo City. After that, there was a rumor that someone offered a hundred million gold soul coins to obtain the embryo. Who's wealthy enough to offer such an astronomical figure? I believe the Sun Moon Empire would have noticed this, too. Whether it's direct or indirect, the body sect's ambush on the illustrious Virtue Hall must somehow be related to the Star Luo Empire. Bei Bei looked at Wang Donga. In such matters, he needed to seek Wang Donga's approval first. After pondering for a while, Wang Donga nodded lightly and said, All right, I'll let you try in the first round. However, your safety takes priority. This is for everyone, and for me. Hui Yu Hao held her hands and smiled, Don't worry, I can't bear to die. With my current state, it might not be a bad thing. Shu Sansha coughed twice. The two of you can't always be so immersed in yourselves. It's too provocative. Furthermore, Wang Donga is now Wang Dong. Aren't you afraid that others will misunderstand you? Wang Donga and Hui Yu Hao were stunned. Indeed, a few resting teams shot them weird glances. Wang Donga pulled her hands from Hui Yu Hao's grasp and said as she glanced left and right, Hey, why aren't they letting us register yet? Their efficiency is really low. Compared to five years ago, all of them had changed greatly. It was very difficult for anyone to recognize them even though they had competed in the last tournament. After all, the changes from puberty were substantial. After waiting for an hour, they were finally led to the registration area. The registration area was at the center of the lobby. There was a long table that faced the doors, and there were ten people in charge of registration. There was also a neat row of empty tables to one side. They were instructed to fill in a form. Bei Bei was in charge of filling out this form. Once he received the form, Bei Bei understood why they had had to wait so long. There were many things that he had to fill out. Detailed information on every official and preparatory squad member had to be written down, their name, age, sect, etc. It took ten minutes just to fill out the form. After filling out the form, everyone had to take a photograph at the registration table. The camera was a special, auxiliary-type sole tool. It captured everyone's appearance. After the photographs were taken, they were directly printed on the registration form. This also demonstrated the leading position the Sun Moon Empire possessed in terms of technology. After the photography segment was over, they still had to undergo body and physical tests. This was to ensure that every competing member was 20 years old or younger. They were then led into a huge room in the hotel. There was already a queue in this room, but it was much simpler for the Tang sect there. After all, Nana was their only preparatory squad member. As they were over age, Ji Juichen and Jing Ziyan couldn't compete as preparatory squad members. Hu Yu Hao wasn't a stranger to the equipment used to measure his body. It was just that he was wondering what kind of result would be produced as he was measured in his current state. After hearing Hu Yu Hao exclamation, Bei Bei's body trembled violently. After that, he also turned in the same direction. There was a young lady in the corner of the room. She still possessed a slender figure and was as ravishing as ever. She looked taller than she had been a few years back, but there was an unhealthy paleness to her face. Her sharp eyes seemed to have changed color. There was a hint of dark blue in her beautiful eyes. As she stood in the corner, she seemed to have assimilated with the shadows. If not for Hui Yu Hao's acute senses, no one would have noticed her. Yes. She was Tang Ya. Compared to a few years ago before, when she had disappeared, her appearance hadn't changed much. Bei Bei's body stiffened when he saw her. After that, he started to tremble violently. He even had to grab hold of Hui Yu Hao's wheelchair to stabilize himself. Xiao Ya, Xiao Ya, only those who were familiar with him knew that Bei Bei had had a hard time not finding Tang Ya over these past few years. They hadn't expected to see her here. Hui Yu Hao wasn't any less agitated than Bei Bei. To him, Tang Ya and Bei Bei were his benefactors. Furthermore, Tang Ya was the true sect leader of the Tang sect. After the Tang sect was re-established, Bei Bei had mentioned that he was only a temporary substitute for her. 
when she returned, she would be reinstated as the sect leader. Everyone agreed with his proposition too. He actually met Tang Yue here. He was extremely emotional right now. Tang Yue also looked over. She first saw Hui Yu Hao in his wheelchair before she saw Bei Bei. She seemed a little lost and didn't move from her position. She gave off the feeling that she had lost her soul. Bei Bei moved at this point. He was like a gust of wind right now as he burst towards Tang Yue. How long had it been? Tang Yue had gone missing just after the previous tournament had ended. It was close to five years now. They had turned from teenagers into youths. As he saw Tang Yue again, Bei Bei felt that his heart was about to jump out of his chest. His heart was only filled with his boundless love for her. Right now, he wasn't as calm as before. There was only Tang Yue in his heart right now. He came in front of Tang Yue instantly and grabbed her shoulders forcefully. His voice was trembling as he said, Xiao Yue, where, where have you been all these years? Did you know how hard a time I've had searching for you? She was still in a daze even though he had grabbed her. She let him shake her body. At this point, Tang Yue finally moved. She lifted her hands and pressed them against Bei Bei's chest. It was as if she was resisting him. However, her dark blue eyes started to light up as she lifted her head in the next moment. Bei Bei was stunned. He only felt that he had seen two deep valleys, and he was sucked into these valleys. In the next moment, a huge force struck his chest. He flew backward like a broken kite. Fresh blood sprayed from his mouth. His entire body was engulfed by a dark blue glow, which was swallowing his life power maniacally. After Hu Yu Hao told Bei Bei to be cautious, the rest of Shrek's seven monsters acted too. Xu Sansha was the first to burst out. While he had always bickered with Bei Bei, they actually shared a close relationship. He unleashed his martial soul as he stepped out. It was a pity that Tang Yue's action was too sudden. Who would have expected her to make a move on Bei Bei? Xu Sanxi's mysterious underworld displacement was too late. He leapt up as he saw Bei Bei in the air and cushioned his fall. At the same time, a pitch black light engulfed Bei Bei's body and resisted the violation of the dark blue glow. Xu Sanxi's expression changed the moment their soul power met. It was very strong. The soul power that Tang Yue had left on Bei Bei's body was too dense and consolidated, and it even possessed an extremely dominant, corrosive force. Xu Sanxi couldn't gain an advantage over it even with his cultivation. Fortunately, Bei Bei's cultivation wasn't weak. He unleashed his own soul power and strongly resisted the invasive soul power. Tang Yue had only pushed him, she hadn't unleashed an attack. She had unleashed the soul power that poured into his body, but didn't directly attack his chest. As a result, Bei Bei's bones were fine even though he was slightly injured. Xiao Yue, are you crazy? Xu Sansha shouted at Tang Yue as he tried to resist her soul power. At this point, a few men in black stepped in front of Tang Yue. One of the elders looked in the direction of group representing the Tang sect. Hui Yu Hao's body shuddered as he saw this elder. His expression also turned dismal. He recognized him. That was because he was one of the assassins who had intercepted Hui Yu Hao's return to Shrek Academy a few months ago. Zhong Peng, Scorpion Tiger Delu, and Half Evil Soul Master. He was a rank 96 Transcendent Delu. He wasn't inferior to Dean Yang Xiaoxia in a fight. Now he had appeared here, and in front of Tang Yue. What did it mean? Bei Bei's expression was extremely pale, and there was fresh blood flowing from his nose. Tang Yue's strike didn't just hurt his body, it also broke his heart. He didn't expect Tang Yue to give him such a huge gift after five years without seeing her. Zhong Peng wore a cold look as he looked towards everyone from the Tang sect. He was stunned when he saw Hui Yu Hao in his wheelchair. He squinted his eyes and appeared pensive. Tang Yue acted like she didn't see all of them. After hitting Bei Bei, she turned around and left. A few other men in black followed beside her. Even Zhong Peng did the same thing. Bei Bei struggled, but he couldn't get up. There was also blood in his mouth. His voice was hoarse as he said, Xiao Yue. Tang Yue didn't stop. She quickly left, as if she hadn't seen anything. However, there was a slight quiver of emotion in her eyes. Hu Yu Hao arrived beside Bei Bei in his wheelchair, with Ji Juechen's help. He grabbed onto Bei Bei's wrist and softly said, Eldest Senior, calm down. His gaze was gentle, and a slight wave of spiritual power engulfed Bei Bei's head. Yu Hao used the gentle and spiritual aura to suit Bei Bei's turmoil. Wang Donga continued to pour her soul power into Bei Bei's body and helped him expel Tang Yue's soul power from his body. However, it wasn't to great effect. Tang Yue's soul power was too domineering, and continued to run riot in Bei Bei's body, whereas Bei Bei wasn't able to control his own soul power to resist Tang Yue's soul power. Just Wang Donga's strength alone didn't seem to be enough. Tears started to stream down Bei Bei's face. 
He was normally very tough, but his tough exterior was torn down after he saw Tang Wei again. Hui Yu Hao said softly, Eldest senior, don't be sad. That wasn't Teacher Xiao Wei's intention. She's with a bunch of evil soul masters. If I'm not wrong, she must have been abducted by evil soul masters. Do you remember the Holy Ghost Church that I mentioned before? It must be them. She must be under their control. Eldest senior, you are our pillar. You must remain strong. It's only in this way that we can think of a way to save Teacher Xiao Yang from those devils. After hearing Hui Yu Hao's words, Bei Bei calmed down a little. He was a little lost as he looked at Hui Yu Hao. Hui Yu Hao nodded his head heartily at him, if Teacher Xiao Wei were clear-headed, she wouldn't have done that to you. Eldest senior, you are confused because you are too concerned about her. No matter what it is, we've seen Teacher Xiao Wei. It's better than not knowing where she is. Don't worry, we'll do our best to save her. Bei Bei was in a daze. As the eldest senior of the sect and one of the most outstanding young talents from Shrek Academy, he managed to regain his focus with Hui Yu Hao's help after momentarily losing control. He shut his eyes, and a blue glow was released from his body. Fine scales also started to surface on his skin. The strong side of the blue lightning tyrant dragon was revealed. He expelled the violent soul power with Wang Dong's help. The room also descended into chaos from what had happened. Very soon, soul masters from the Sun Moon Empire entered the room to maintain order and interrogate the Tang sect. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.